All right, this is first grade, module two, lesson nine. And in this lesson, we are going to continue making 10 when one of the ab ends is eight. That's what we've been doing the past couple of lessons. But we're gonna kind of repeat this cycle that we did several lessons ago where not only are we gonna be making 10 when one of the ab ends is eight, but we're also going to be appreciating its efficiency of using this strategy as opposed to the other strategy, which is the count on method. For example, eight plus six, uh, the count on method would be saying, okay, eight, and then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So eight plus six is 14. That's the count on method. Uh, we get the answer right, but more efficient would be using the eight plus six and then saying, well, eight plus six using decomposition is the same as 10 plus four, the answer is 14, and that's way more efficient. And so that's what we're trying to get our kids um, appreciating. So it says to use number bonds to show your thinking, and parents, teachers, in case you're not sure what that means, because <laughs> a lot of parents, a lot of teachers just go, what, eight plus three, the answer is 11. What's there to do? What kind of work do we need to show? Um, so <clears throat> here's what we're gonna do. What we're looking for is the idea of saying, well, eight is really close to the friendly number 10, and what eight needs is two more. So we're gonna take that three and decompose it to be two plus one. Now we have our friendly number 10. So now it becomes 10 plus one, which is 11. So the idea would be to look at that eight plus three and relate that to the number fact 10 plus one. And of course our answer is 11. So when we're talking about number bonds, this is the, uh, right here, this is the component that we're talking about, where you take the three and decompose it so that you're going to make a friendly number. You're going to make that 10, and then this is what you have left over, so you have 10 plus 1. Moving on, more of the same. What's different this time, though, is the 8 is the second number being added rather than the first. And so what we're going to say is we 8 is really close to 10. What does he need or she need? What does it need to get 10? Oh, it needs two more. So we're going to take that 5 and decompose it to 2 plus 3, which there gives us our 10. So we end up with 3 plus 10. This 3 and then 8 and 2 is 10. So 3 plus 10 is 13. So our answer, our sum, is 13. So what are we going to do over here? Well, this thing right here says 3 plus 10. So we're going to write down 10 plus 3 because it's the same thing. It's commutative. 3 plus 10 and 10 plus 3 is the same thing, and that answer, of course, is 13. Now, parents and teachers, big thing that I want to point out here. Um, over here, I decomposed the 5 in order to make a 10. Now some of your students, especially if they're ready for this, they may say, well, why do we have to decompose the 5? What if I wanted to decompose the 8? And start with the 5, leave it alone. I could decompose 8 to be 5 and 3. And now I have a 10. And it becomes 10 plus 3 is 13. And of course, we get the same answers. That's not much of a surprise. So the point is, parents and teachers, don't freak out. If you have a student who wants to decompose the 8, rather than decomposing the 5, that is perfectly fine. Just more of the same. We're going to continue practicing. So we're going to leave this 8 alone, and we're going to decompose the 7 so that we get 5 and 2. Now we have our 10. So there's our 10 plus 5. So right here, um, we're going to write down 7 and 8 because that's what this problem says. 7 plus 8 is. And of course, we can see it right here. The answer is 15. Now moving over here, while we're looking at this, we can immediately see that 8 and 2 is 10 plus the 5. So 10 plus 5, we already know that answer. That answer is 15. 
So we would write 10 and 5 equals 15. So what we need to do is connect each of these three things on the left with one of the three things on the right. All right, so let's take a look at this first problem and uh, decompose. So I'm going to see, well, let's start with 8 plus 3. So I'm going to leave that 8 alone, and I'm going to decompose the 3 to 2 and 1. And then I can see that 8 and 2 is 10. So we end up with 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. And look at that. This goes right here. And we found a partner. Now I'm going to skip down to number 10. Number 10 says we've got 10 plus 4 is 14. And I can look over here and I can see, oh, there it is. 8 plus 6 is 14. Now if we wanted to verify, we could write 8 plus 6. And we're going to leave that 8 alone because it's the closest to 10. We're going to take that 6 and decompose to 2 and 4 because that gives us a 10. So now we have 10 plus 4, which is 14. And so, hey, look at that. 10 plus 4 is 14, and that's 8 plus 6. And I'm going to let uh, you guys, parents and teachers, solve question 9. But basically, you're going to take the 5 and the 8, and you are going to, and I'll draw it down here, 5 plus 8, and you're going to decompose in order to find the sum. And that wraps up first grade module two, lesson nine, where we're really focusing a little bit on efficiency. Um, rather than counting on, we want to use that um, decomposition technique, making a, a landmark or a friendly number, making 10. Uh, so the idea would be eight plus seven. We want students to fairly quickly see that instead of doing 8 plus 7, we could do 10 plus 5, which of course is 15.